Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump both campaigned in North Carolina today. The vice presidential candidates also on the trail trying to secure any additional votes they can. Fox's Jonathan Seri has the latest on the final days of campaigning. In the final weekend of the campaign, both Trump and Harris packing busy schedules. Harris kicked off her day in Atlanta. Georgia, we have an opportunity in this election to finally turn the page on a decade of Donald Trump. It is time for a new generation of leadership in America. This is Democratic insiders tell New York Magazine they are, quote, nauseously optimistic about her chances. Trump, meanwhile, took a detour to Virginia, a state Republicans have not won in decades. His campaign says he's going on offense, trying to expand the map. I'll tell you what, we win Virginia, we win the whole thing without question. Both candidates converge on North Carolina Saturday. Democrats have not carried the state since Obama in 2008, but believe they can pry it away this time around. We need everyone to vote North Carolina. You all will make the difference in this election. The former president, though, staying confident he'll come out on top. They're saying it's very close. It's really not very close. I will fix it, and I'll fix it fast. We're going to do it quickly. America will be bigger, better, bolder, richer, safer, and stronger than ever before. And there's a lot of enthusiasm here in North Carolina. Officials say early voting set an all-time record with more than half of registered voters already casting ballots. In Charlotte, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.